Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got episode number 98 of the San Diego Padres franchise mode here on the channel. Let's get straight into simming. I mean, we're doing pretty well. Record of 10-3, make that 11-3. Gonna play the Mets here. Gonna try to win this series. We will. Chris Bond is back, so Patrick Corbin can move finally back to the bullpen. And Araldis Chapman gets hurt for one to two months, so he's gonna be out. We're gonna bring up Ranger Suarez for him, the lefty. I mean, that sucks, but two men will now be the permanent closer on this team until Raldis Chapman comes back in approximately one or two months. We're going to win those games against the Cardinals. We're going to come back and win that one. Now we're going to play this game at the end of the month against the Chicago White Sox. And pitching for the White Sox will be Michael Kopech. So Kopech, this dude throws so fast, like 103, 104, if he can really get going. But the problem is with Kopech is that his control is terrible. So if we can really win this game, man, we have to lay off some pitches. We got to take some and make Kopech work because if he gets going, man, he is so hard to hit with that fast fastball and I think he has a slider in there too he's really nasty also Brandon Nimmo is on the White Sox our good friend from the Mets killed us in the NLCS a couple years ago he is playing now for the White Sox and if you haven't yet folks the subscribe button down below for more San Diego Padres franchise mode here on the channel Mackenzie Gore gonna get the start tonight five starts so far in season four in a record year at 3.48 over 31 innings and look at them unis for the White Sox the baby blues on the three two strikeout Kevin Newman outside slider will take it by Gore now up on the full count will be Danny Mendick on the three two swing and a miss on the fastball and by Mackenzie Gore Miguel Andujar the former Yankee on the one one gonna blast that ball in the shallow center field Victor Robles playing back but he'll charge it and make the play to end the top of the first inning. Here comes Michael Kopech, though. Five starts so far this season. 1-3 record, 8.25 ERA with 24 innings. He will see the switching. Brian Reynolds first on the 1-1. Reynolds going to take the high fastball into deep right field. Will it get down? Down right field is Nimmo. He can't get to it. Brian Reynolds should have too easy. Maybe looking for three. He is. Can Brian Reynolds get in there? He can. His third triple of the season is going to leave this ball game off. For now, Tidy's you now on the 3-2. There we go. That's why I talked about. Got to draw the walks off of Michael Kopech. Chris Bright now on the full count. We're going to draw another walk, loading him up now for Daniel Vogelbach. And on the 3 2, Vogel going to draw the walk. That's what I'm talking about. We draw our first run off of a walk. It's 1 nothing for the Padres. Mitch Garver now on the full count. There we go again. Kopech's control is terrible. It's a 2 to 0 ball game thanks to that RBI walk by Mitch Garver. Julio Rodriguez now up on the 2-2, just getting a day in, righty-righty. He's going to pop that ball up, though, behind the plate for Yasmani Grandal, the first out of the inning. And here's your Padres lineup today. We are batting Reynolds, Tatis, Bryant, Vogie, Garver, Rodriguez, Victor Robles, CJ James, and Mackenzie Gore is obviously pitching. Victor Robles on the 2-2, going to blast that ball in the right field. Will it get down? It will be caught by Brandon Nimmo. We're going to try to tag Chris Bryant from third. Bryant, he should be in there. They're going to third. Vogie, he's in there, too. 3 nothing ball game. For the Padres, CJ Abrams on the two-wing to blast that ball into center field. It's the CJ Abrams special, though. It's a good week into center field to end the inning, but we have taken a three to nothing lead. Eloy Jimenez, the power bound in the three-one, gonna blast that ball into center field. The shift is on, so that ball will get down for Eloy Jimenez, a leadoff single for the White Sox. Luis Robert up on the 3-2 to blast that ball right to second. Tatis to, okay, yeah, I don't know why I went to first. We're going to get the first out of the inning, though. Now our good bud, Brandon Nimmo, going to strike out on the slider way. Terrible swing. We'll take it, Mackenzie Gore. Two down in the inning. Four yes, Monty Grandal on the 3-2. Grandal going to draw the walk on the fastball. Upper is up for the second. Four, Nico Goodrum on the 2-1. Goodrum! Deep into left field, and just like that, the White Sox are going to tie this ballgame. All that work we did in the bottom of the first is going to go to nothing because Nico Goodrum, with one swing of the barrel, is going to make this a 3-3 three to -three ball game. Going to catch that high pitch up and take it out of the building. Michael Kopech on the 1-2. I mean, yeah, he's a pitcher in the AL. He doesn't hit. Fly out right to left field. Now in the bottom of the second with one out. Brian Reynolds on the 3-1. Going to draw another walk. Going to be on first with the free pass. Right now, Tatis Jr. on the 3-1. Going to bounce that ball to third. Pretty easy play. And you are to second. Can they turn it? For now, Tatis Jr. though is in there. Chris Bryant now up on the 3-1. Bryant going to draw the walk on the fastball away. Runners up for in second here. Two outs in the inning. 40. You know, Vogelbach on the 3-2. We'll take it again. Another walk. Kopech cannot pitch a strike to save his life. We will take it. Garver on the 3-1. Mitch Garver. I mean, that's probably a strike. 
but I'll take it. Michael Kopech is pissed, but I mean, dude, you haven't been able to throw a strike in the entire game. We'll take the 4-3 lead, though. Julio Rodriguez on the full count with two outs. Rodriguez in the left. It's going to get through. Daniel Vogelbach with six feet in the plate. Can we get in a terrible throw? We got it. It's a 6-3 ball game thanks to the two RBI single by Julio Rodriguez. Victor Robles on the 1-2 going to pull that ball in the left field, but Eloy Jimenez is there to end the inning, but we have gotten three back at 6-3 San Diego. Kevin Newman on the 1-1 going to blast that ball in the center field. Good line drive shot, but right to Victor Robles. One down in the inning, and here is the NL West standings. We are 21-7, but look at the Rockies, though, at 19-10. Only two and a half games behind us. They signed Chris Sale in the offseason. They are pretty damn good. On the 1-1, that ball's going to be hit right to Fernando Tatis Jr. Tatis going to throw him out for the second out of the inning. Now will be Miguel Andujar on the 2-1. Andujar going to hit that ball into deep left field. Julio Rodriguez raging back. Rodriguez, he's got it to end the top of the third inning. CJ Abrams now up on the 3-2. No need to swing. We will take it. That's ball for another walk by Michael Kopech on the 1-2. Mackenzie Gore. Hey, Kopech gets a strikeout. I mean, it took our pitcher to come up to the plate, but it's all right. Brian Rell's now up on the one, and Rell's get that ball into deep left field. Eloy Jimenez going back. Jimenez is going to get it, though, for the second out of the inning. That will now bring up for now Tyus Jr., but CJ Abrams, I thought it got over Jimenez's head, and somehow they got the relay to get Abrams out. I don't know. Eloy Jimenez now going to make us pay at the plate. Going to hit that ball. It's going to roll all the way back to the wall. Eloy Jimenez is going to have himself a leadoff double here in the top of the fourth. Now up will be Brandon Nimmo on the 2-2. Two, two, going to hit that ball. Right to short. Right to Fernando Taji Jr. Two down in the inning just like that. For Yasmani Grandal on the 2-2. Two, two. Grandal going to chop that ball right to second. For CJ Abrams, we're going to get out of the top of the fourth inning. Still at a score of 6-3. to three. Kopex day is done after only three innings of work. Instead, Ronaldo Lopez will come in for long relief. Ten games so far this season. He will pitch to Fernando Taji Jr. on the 3-1. Taji's going to bust that ball. And the left field is going to get down. A uh, leadoff base knock for Fernando Tatis Jr. Chris Bryant on the 2-2. Going to pop that ball off right in the infield. Who's going to take it? It will be the first baseman, Nico Goodrum, the switch hitter for the first out of the inning. Daniel Vogelbach on the 2-2. Vogel and rip that ball right past second. It's going to get through a one-out base knock for Daniel Vogelbach. It will move Fernando over to second. Mitch Garver on the 1-2. Garver going to hit that ball in the left center field. Will it get down in center? Oh, okay. He dies for it. Doesn't make a Jason Hayward play. So base is loaded now. One out for Julio Rodriguez on the full count. Rodriguez up the middle. It's going to get through. Julio's going to have his third RBI. We're not going to send Vogie again. Probably wouldn't end too well. So Victor Robles on the one one at that ball. Right in the gap. It's going to get through. Vogie's going to score station to station. Still at 8-3 to three now for San Diego. CJ Abrams on the 3-2. CJ, oh my goodness. Again, another C.J. Abrams special. A pop-out right to third. At third is Miguel Andujar. Two down the inning. And Mackenzie Gore on the 2-1. What do you expect? Another pop-out. Can Andujar get to it? Yep, he will to end the inning. But we have taken a five-run lead. Nico Goodrum up on the 1-1. One, one, get that ball right to third. Easy play for Chris Bryant to start off the top of the fifth routine. Now up will be the pinch hitter, Nick Madrigal, on the 2-1. Get that ball the third. Easy play for Fernando Tyson. you got to hurry up, but he's got it. Two down the inning. Top viewer now for the White Sox, the former Pirate, Kevin Newman, on the 1-1. One, one. Again, another terrible swing by Newman. Pop out in the infield for Fernando to end the top of the fifth. In the bottom of the fifth, we go. Jairo Diaz now going to pitch six games so far this season. 1-1 one, one record, seven two-thirds innings with a 4.7 ERA. He will see Brian Reynolds in the 3-1. Reynolds in the gap. Will he get down? Brian Reynolds could have another three-bagger. Let's see. He's got two. Will he go for three? He's going to stay at second for a no-out double. Fernando Tice Jr. on the 2-2. Two -two. Swing and miss on the high heat up. Good pitch right there by Jairo Diaz. Chris Bryant now on the 1-2. Brian, ooh, going to get frozen on that slider way. Another good pitch by Diaz, honestly. Vogie now up the plate on the 2-1. Daniel Vogelbach going to hit that ball right to second, but right to Kevin Newman. That's going to end the inning. We still hold a five-run lead. Good scoop at first by Goodrum in the top of the six. Now up will be Mendick on the one. We're going to line that ball right to left, but there is Julio Rodriguez, one down in the inning for Miguel Andujar on the two. Andujar right to first, right to Vogie. Vogie to Gore, two down. Now up will be Eloy Jimenez, the power batter on the one. one. Jimenez, deep center field. That's gone, no doubt about it. The White Sox going to get another one back. They have split this lead officially in half. It's an eight to four ball game after that big 400 foot plus shot by the left fielder. Eloy Jimenez. That'll now bring up the center fielder, Luis Robert, on the through on Robert, deep left field. That's gone again. Is it Robert or Robert? I think it's Luis Robert, right? I mean, it could be Luis Robert. I don't know. I call him Luis Robert. So, Luis Robert going to go yard. 390 into left field. Now we'll end Mackenzie Gore's day because here it comes. Ranger Suarez just got called up a couple weeks ago for Aldis Chapman. He's up in the majors for the time being. He will pitch down to Brandon Nimmo on the 1-1 lefty-lefty. Nimmo into deep right field, but in right field is Brian Reynolds. Reynolds going back. 
He's got it to end the top of the sixth inning. Still hold a three-run lead to San Diego. Mitch Garver in the 3-1 going to draw a walk. Another walk by the White Sox. Just not Michael Kopech this time. It is Gyro Diaz. Julio Rodriguez on the 3-2. Rodriguez in a deep right field. Will it get down? Yeah, no, it's not. It's going to go straight to the right fielder. Brandon Nimmo, one down in the inning. That will now bring up Victor Robles on the 2 to the All-Star. Robles in a deep left field. But Eloy Jimenez is right there on the good, good to secure the second out of the inning. CJ Abrams on the 1 2. Abrams going to slap that ball on the left. It's going to get down. There we go. Good, good by Abrams. Runs on for his second here. Two outs. Here comes the pinch hitter. Trent Grisham got an off day today, but we'll pinch it on the 2 2. Grisham in a deep right field. Brandon Nimmo. Oh my goodness. Right to Brandon Nimmo. Here comes the former All Star Luis Perdomo. 17 games so far this season, 17 innings, 6.88 ERA. Going to try to get that down right now against Yasmani Grandal on the 1 2. Grandal just going to extend on that one. Going to hit that ball right into center field. Routine play for Victor Robles. One down in the inning. Nico Grudrum now the switcher on the 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss on the splitter away by Luis Perdomo. That's the same pitch that struck out Mike Trout, I believe, three times in the World Series. Now that ball's going to get right past C.J. Abrams. That's a base knock for the pinch hitter on the 1-2. Now Kevin Newman on the 1-1 getting that ball into right field. It's in shallow. Can Brian Reynolds get there? Reynolds, he's going to make the play and going to fall down. Let's get it. In the bottom of the seven now, Jimmy Cordero going to pitch 12 games so far this season. 18 innings, ERA of 2.45. He'll see Brian Reynolds on the 2 and Reynolds in the center field. Going to get jammed slightly inside on that one. That will be the first out of the inning right to Luis Rowe. Bear for now, Ty Shearer on the 3-2. Tatis going to break his bat on that. Probably could have ball four. Instead, they're, what? oh my goodness. All right, Goodrum tagged him, I guess. Got the second out of the inning that way. I don't know. Chris Bryant going to pop that ball up, though, right to first. Goodrum going to make that play to end the inning. Into the top of the eighth we go. Chu Ming going to try to set up this one for our closer currently, Jose Castillo, just how the lineup worked. Two men with the ERA of 2.38 on the season. He will see Mendick on the 2-2. So going to miss on the changeup by Chu Min. I just want to show you guys, look at this. Kopech had nine walks this game. Over three innings. <laughs> That's just effing terrible. Six runs. Oh my goodness. Anduhar in the 3-2. Miguel Anduhar going to blast that ball in the gap. It's going to get down. Miguel Anduhar should have extra bases. Brian Rod's going to go all the way to the track, but Miguel Anduhar is on second with one out in the inning. Eloy Jimenez now up on the 1-1. Jimenez going to blast that ball into right field. Brian Rod's is under it. Will they tag the runner? That's the question, though. Reynolds under it. They will not. They're going to hold Anduhar at second for Luis Robert on the 1-2 homer earlier. Okay. All right, Mitch Garver can't block that one. That's going to be easy pass the third for Andujar. Luis Robert is still up on the 2-2. Swing and miss on the high heat by Chuman. Let's go straight to the top of the ninth. Jose Castillo now going to pitch nine games so far this season. Area of 1.13. One save with eight innings. He will see Brandon on the 1-2. Nimmo swing and miss on the slider way. That's one. Yasmani Grandal now up on the 1 2. Zuenas on the slider. Back to back strikeouts. That'll now bring up Nico Goodrum on the full count. Goodrum swing this. Jose Castillo strikes out the side in the top of the ninth and gives the San Diego Padres their 22nd win of the season. They will improve to 22 and 7 on the season, while the White Sox will fall to 16 and 14. Folks, thank y'all for watching episode number 98 of the San Diego Padres franchise mode here on the channel. Hey, we're doing pretty well so far in the season, but we do have to worry about the Rockies since they are right on our tail. Probably the two best teams in the NL going at it. I mean, the Cubs are pretty good too, but us and the Rockies will be a fun rivalry to watch from here on out. And by the way, the Dodgers suck. They lost Bellinger. They've completely fallen apart. Again, folks, thank y'all for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below for more and Mamba forever.